up you guys uh, we got a beautiful day here I don't know if you can see the sun it's beautiful I figured I'd open up the shop and I'd get working on the evil a little bit I've been fucking slacking so uh, we'll do that okay guys here we have my 2005 Evo um, I've got the head on no head studs in so I'll probably uh, do that. Uh, I've got to put the, the head studs in, tighten the head down, uh, rotate, the, uh, time the cam gear, um, and it should be good to go. And then I've quite literally forgot how to put everything back in. So we got a little daylight. It's a beautiful day, so I figured I'd get out here, try and put this thing back together, uh, <laughs> and we'll see where that takes us. Uh, let's get started. I could always be the one you wanna call when it's cold outside I will always be the one that's right here standing by your side Open up your heart and let me in I promise not to break you I promise I'll be all, all that you want Okay, we got the head studs in. Um, these are ARP head studs, so you put the blue uh, on. You do the hand tight uh, to walk or to the metal top of the head back on. Now we're gonna lube both sides of these little um, washers, drop them in, and then we lube the bottom side of the little bolts, or the, I'm sorry, the nuts. Uh, we'll do that right now. Well, shit's not focusing, but now we lube the bottom of these and uh, put them on the head studs.
but the light is getting a little dim. Actually, hold on a second. Uh, so the light's getting a little dim, but what I'm doing is I'm just, so you can see on the bottom here. I don't know why this thing isn't, gonna, isn't fucking auto-focusing, but on the bottom there's a small dab of, or a, a ring of lube on there. So what I'm doing is dropping it on the stud uh, with a little magnet, just like this. Like that. And then I've got my 12 point socket and I'm just hand tightening it. There is a torque sequence to these, so don't worry. There we go. On to the next one. and so forth. All right, so now that we've got the, um, I guess, nuts, you could say, on the studs themselves, we have to torque them down. We'll go 30, 60, 85 in a inside, I think it's inside, outside pattern. Dial back your thing. You never want to store these things with load on it. You'll lose calibration. Okay, the head's officially on. Woo! Watch this. Woo! Head is on. I'm really losing light here. I need to get one of those hood, hood clips, but I'm going to keep wrenching at this and we'll check with you guys when I'm done. Okay, well, it is much, much later. Um, it's uh, 8.37. Um, I got it all put back together. I'm still super fucking worried uh, first start on this thing. When something blows up and you only replace what what you can kind of see, if that makes any sense. I didn't, I didn't replace anything in the lower. Uh, I died, but I had a backup out here. So, as I was talking... I'm super worried. I'm super worried about this thing because I don't know. I guess I don't know what was cut or what made it, and what didn't. I didn't replace anything of the piston, the rod, and the um, the piston rings. So I'm kind of worried. I spun it over. Everything seems fine. I can hear air passing um, coming out the exhaust ports, but I'm still just super nervous about firing this thing up after you have something blow up like that. Um, but I got everything timed, uh, everything lines up, you can see, here let me get a little light, uh, where's my light, right here, um, you can see the mark, uh, the mark right there on my light, directly on my light, lines up with the mark on there, and same for this one, right there and there, so it should be timed. Um, just fine, but I'm just I'm just worried But I'm just worried about that that one that cylinder number four because I Didn't even look and the reason why I didn't is because when I pulled the head off there was coolant like sitting in that cylinder um, Granted I pulled the head off like a day after this happened so it wasn't sitting in there um, contaminating the piston or the cylinder walls so the rings still seal I hope because it had coolant in that cylinder so I pushed the cylinder the, the coolant out uh, obviously um, and I'm just f fucking fingers crossed that the valves did not hit the pistons when I rotated it I, I turned it over I don't know about six eight times um, so 
I'm gonna call it for a night and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't even know how this is gonna turn out with an edit. I think it's just gonna be a lot of time lapse, but I appreciate you guys stopping in. Um, like it, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.